Shooting USA is brought to you by Hornady Security and the new Ammo Cabinet. Keep your ammunition secure and organized and free up room in your gun safe with the modular Ammo Cabinet by Hornady Security. Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. We have a new way for you to see full length current Shooting USA episodes. We now have a Patreon. There are two years worth of episodes there waiting for you in addition to the Shooting USA watch along videos. We've done one with Nils Jonasson and we have several scheduled as new shows are released. There's a link in this video's description. Now, here's the content. You're watching Shooting USA, America's number one source for firearms news and information. The U.S. Army needed a replacement for the Craig Jorgensen, something to match the Spanish Mausers that fought Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. Well, the answer would be the 03 Springfield, based on the Mauser action. The U.S. paid a royalty on the design to the Germans, until the start of World War I. It has been called the most famous of all U.S. military firearms, and it surely has one of the most storied histories. The model 1903 U.S. rifle, better known by most of us simply as the 03 Springfield. Jeff Reed is the arms curator at the National Infantry Museum at Fort Benning, Georgia. He calls the 03 the ultimate rifleman's rifle. In short, it's what we call an attack driver. In the hands of a expert marksman, uh, this weapon is just uh, remarkably efficient. Although the Army adopted it, as the name says, in the year 1903, the rifle's roots actually run back to the late 1890s. America was at war with Spain, and our soldiers discovered their trapdoor Springfields and Craig Jorgensen's were simply no match for the faster shooting Spanish Mausers. Yes, America won the war, but the Army found out it needed a better rifle. What I have in my hand here is a, an original model 1903 U.S. rifle. David Stishon is the U.S. Army Infantry historian, and he says the history he is holding this original 03 Springfield is at its heart a Mauser. And what we saw in the hands of our enemy, the Spanish soldiers, were 7 millimeter clip-fed Mausers made in Germany. And so we decided we needed some of that action too. The Springfield Armory took up the task of creating this new and superior rifle, and what it built was far superior to the U.S. weapons that came before it. Loaded with a five-round stripper clip, operated with a smooth and reliable bolt, the O3 was a precision tool in the hands of America's soldiers. But this is a very finely made weapon, very difficult to manufacture to old world manufacturing techniques. Not only was it finely made, but the O3 Springfield proved extremely effective thanks in part to a modification. Shortly after it went into service, the rifle was adapted to chamber a new, more accurate type of ammunition. It was a powerful 30 caliber round adopted by the Army in 1906. So they called the ammunition the Ball 30 caliber Model 1906. So ever since, that bullet has been known as 30-06. The rifle went through another change, too. Originally, the O3 came equipped with an unusual rod bayonet, but the President of the United States himself, Theodore Roosevelt, boldly demanded to change to a 16-inch blade. Sailors and Marines carried it ashore in Veracruz, Mexico, 1914. Pershing's troops carried these, the cavalry and the foot soldiers, into Mexico in 1916. And then in 1917 came the war to end all wars, the conflict that most often comes to mind when we think of the 03 Springfield. Our doughboys carried the model 1903 U.S. rifle onto the battlefields of Europe and into the trenches of World War I. But it's generally conceded, at least by Americans, that this is the most beautiful and accurate of the battle rifles 
of the trench. The 03 Springfield helped win that war, but its service to our country was far from over. As America approached another world war, our soldiers still marched with the 03 Springfield. And the day our Marines launched their first assault on a Japanese-held island in the South Pacific, most were armed with model 1903s. Their landing on the beaches of Guadalcanal marked the beginning of the end for Japan. The Doughboy and Marine had a weapon that he could be very confident in. Not just the standard battle range of 300 to 500 yards, but perhaps as far as 600 yards, even 700 yards. Half a century after the O3's invention, it was still getting wartime assignments as the modified A4 sniper model. Its length of service in battle is simply unmatched by any other rifle in American history. The O3 Springfield, a timeless design that you can still see on the firing line at Camp Perry. you've made it to the end of another Shooting USA video on YouTube and for that we thank you. It does help the channel if you subscribe, like and comment and that will help us keep the content coming.